And Alabama's community college system has seen two consecutive years of enrollment growth. And with the latest uh, Supreme Court decision, officials don't expect that to stop. WDHN State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple has more. A growing number of students are choosing community colleges like the one I'm at right now as a more affordable option, and the numbers show it. This summer's enrollment in Alabama's community colleges is up about 10% from last year. The system expects more than 80,000 students this fall across its 24 colleges. That affordability, that convenience is a huge factor. Neil Scott with the ACCS expects that trend will only continue, especially now with the Supreme Court ending the president's student debt relief plan. As the conversation about college affordability continues and it, it even heightens, we feel, like, we feel that students are going to see a lot of value in what it is that we offer. And high school students like Lexi Brock are seeing the value too. I have about a full semester of college out of the way whenever I start. Brock just graduated high school after participating in the dual enrollment program offered by the community college system. She took community college classes, earning credit that will apply when she attends Auburn University at Montgomery in the fall to study computer science. She took the dual enrollment route as a way to cut down on costs. Because community college prices are much cheaper than university prices. And it's not just dual enrollment and degrees community colleges offer. The ACCS boasts several credentialing programs that they say help with workforce development. Reporting in Prattville, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.